Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Located on the Las Vegas Henderson border off Eastern near St. Rose, Coronado Heights is a brand new assisted living community providing individualized care for the residents based on their needs, likes, and preferences. Here with more on what they have to author, ex Executive Director of Coronado Heights Senior Living, Wade Vest. Along with Wade, Clint Nielsen, Administrator with Sage Creek Post Acute, which is right next door. Gentlemen, welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, let's talk uh, first just about senior living and how it's really evolved in the last few years. So before the 1980s, the, the only option for seniors looking for care were the traditional nursing homes. And starting in the 1980s, this new concept of assisted living came about. And now, as you, as you look at different communities, there's beautiful options. And the, the main focus is, is communities that, that look and feel like home. And so you have beautiful dining rooms, the apartments feel, feel like home, mm -hmm. and there's also now theater rooms in communities, large spacious rooms for activities. And so the options for seniors looking for, for care and services have really evolved over the years. Isn't that amazing? Just in, your, in our lifetime, there's been yeah. such a change. That's terrific. I love it because people should really enjoy life in their later years, no doubt about it. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk about what you do different at Coronado Heights. So at Coronado Heights, I would say we focus on, on three things for our residents. One is, is care. So we have a, an individualized care plan for each one of our residents that moves into the community. And these, these care Ooh. plans, these care plans they're, they're, they're focused on, on what the residents' preferences and likes are, not what's, what's best for our team. And the second thing would be, would be dining. We, uh, we have a, a chef that's culinary trained, mm. and the, the food is, is excellent. Um, our, uh, our, our, our residents are able to come down and eat in the dining room, and they're able to order off of a menu, and we, we serve restaurant style. So that's a great option for them to come in and, and enjoy a meal with their, with their friends and, and, and have some of our mm. delicious food. Wow. And then the third option is, is activities, the third, the third focus for us. Mm -hmm. And every day is a, is a party at Coronado Heights. One, uh, one mm -hmm. example of something that we've done recently is our Actors Theater. And our residents, they've, they've been the producers, the directors, and the actors in, in a, a movie premiere. And so we've, we, we have a, a, a beautiful movie theater on our campus, and we've, we've had the premiere where we've had a lot of families come in, other residents come and see this premiere, and our residents, they just mm -hmm. nailed this, this movie. And we're, we're actually on our, our third movie now, and we'll be having the premiere shortly. Isn't that fun? Oh, so much fun. I love it. Oh my gosh, that's really neat. Uh, can, can we jump over here and uh, talk next door to Coronado yeah. Heights is, is Sage Creek Post Acute. Yes. Well, let's talk about what you do. So Sage Creek Post Acute is a brand new facility to the Henderson area. We're located a block north of St. Rose Siena Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, the vision of this building is, is very small. We're a small community. We share the same campus as Wade, and we have the ability mm -hmm. to provide short-term rehab for a patient that's not quite ready to go home from the hospital, but they need to be discharged from the hospital. So those patients come to us. We have the ability to get them stronger, get their nourishment better, oversee their clinical care in a way in which when they go home, they're going to feel confident they're able, they'll be able to stay at home and resume the life they had prior to going to the hospital. So that is our focus. Neat. We're a brand new facility. We're beautiful. Oh, yeah. interesting. All right. So you're doing things a little differently in that you are not inpatient. That's correct. Right? So we're not an inpatient rehab setting. And what that means mm -hmm. is Inpatient rehab it ties to a hospital setting. We're not a hospital setting. We are a step down from a hospital. Mm -hmm. In an inpatient rehab setting, there's requirements in therapy and other things you have to have to meet the criteria to be there. Mm -hmm. In our setting, as you come into our setting, we will have an individualized care plan for therapy, uh, for dietary, for nursing, and it all comes together mm. um, in a way in which we're able to truly meet the needs of each patient individually. It's terrific. What yeah. I hear from both of you, and I know your, your facilities are, are right next to each other. Yes. Uh, some patients uh, from Coronado Heights are going over to be treated at Sage Creek. Correct. What I'm hearing from both of you is that people are getting individualized care. Yes. And, and that's, that's, that's a huge difference. It's not a one-size-fits-all, even when it comes to the food that you serve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Isn't that right? Um, great. Well, and I know your buildings are new and beautiful, so yes. describe the atmosphere a little bit because to me, when I walk into like an assisted living facility, one of the first things I notice is the atmosphere. Yeah. So one thing that we, we love about our community is just the, the feel when you walk in. We're, we're both new. We've been open about a year and three months. And mm -hmm. as, you, as you walk into our community, on the, the left-hand side is a, a nice bistro. 
So we have fresh fruit that we, we serve to our residents. We have, we've got water, we have enhanced water that's available. And then as you, as you tour the community, our, our whole goal is to, to feel like home. And you can do that with, with the setting, but what's most important is, is the people. And we're, mm -hmm. we're really proud of the- Isn't that true? Absolutely, we're, we're so proud of the, the team that we've, that we've hired on. And, uh, and we, 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 our goal is to make it one big family with our residents, our family members, and our team as well. That's great. And we share a similar vision at Sage Creek Post Acute. Our, our setting is so different because the length of stay is going to be a week, two weeks, maybe three weeks, right? Yep. We're just a transitional period. So what we have to provide is, is an experience at the same time as, as we provide a, the right clinical outcome. Exactly. So our focus is going to be on having the right structure so as people come in, they feel independent, they're able to feel and do things as if they were at home. So it's comfortable as they go through the process to get better and then transition back to the community. Guys, thank you so much. Creating the atmosphere of home. I love it. Thank you. Thanks, JJ. Thank you. Coronado Heights Senior Living is located on Ion Road. That's off Eastern. You know where it is, just behind Chick-fil-A. <laughs> they provide assisted living and memory care services. The details are right there on your screen. Right next door is Sage Creek Post Acute, a 24-hour skilled nursing and rehabilitation center. That info's on your screen right now. Both companies are proud sponsors of The Morning Blend, and we are coming right back.